Hi guys, this is Market Watch from Branch 22 Capital with another market update for election week uh, for week starting on November 7. Uh, well, I'm not gonna do any analysis uh, uh, how um, elections may affect the markets. Uh, this is uh, like always strict technical uh, analysis of uh, first overall market situation. We have SPX here. Um, I had here um, on daily chart um, this channel um, draw here we broke out of it uh, we have smaller one here let we may say we still in it but uh, we have this red trend line going back uh, here uh, so we may consider uh, pull back to uh, to the upper trend line after break uh, breakout also you may notice this uh, um, channel on stochastic on the daily stochastic uh, so we are on a, a bottom trend line we are also oversold um, so this is a bullish um, uh, when you see here closer this is one hour chart we may see a double bottom here at this level and this is uh, in my opinion what uh, what is high, highly probability a scenario that we may see a double bottom and go uh, up from here after uh, results announcement on Tuesday um, so yeah this is uh, regarding overall more situation now particular setups let's start with general electric uh, daily chart general electric uh, trending beautifully in downward channel I took the trade here I believe or here um, uh, it was right after uh, the earning announcement now we uh, close uh, we are uh, general is almost set up again we are over uh, oversold on daily so I would like this one to see, see the, uh, pull back all the way to the trend line um, uh, so it would be great high probability setup the next one I just found Allstate Corporation also the same scenario we have a beautiful um, downward channel and also as you see here all, all that 200 moving average uh, was very strong support we broke down it here but we are uh, on a trend line uh, with oversold stochastic so this is uh, um, this is a uh, nice long um, CNL Corporation um, this is also uh, downward channel uh, and we have uh, pull back to the upper trend line after breakout we also have here uh, kind of uh, on a, a one hour chart we have falling wedge and also uh, you see the confirmation uh, and that we bounced from the upper trend line uh, with Siena um, similar ABT about laboratories uh, same same thing we have larger downward channel after breakout we have pulled back to the upper trend line with over uh, sold stochastics so uh, yeah I, I expect this one to go higher um, Biogen Biogen another similar setup also we have downward channel and we have kind of bull flag we broke out of bull flag but we tag uh, the upper trend line now we are back in the channel so we have a bull flag and also pull back to the upper trend line this is very nice setup uh, this is uh, expensive stock but uh, we have nice also kind of coil stochastic 
oversold. Um, so this is a nice long. We have uh, Mickey D's. Uh, Mickey D's also, you see this large downward trend line, downward channel here. Uh, I don't know. We can remove this one. Yeah, so Mickey D uh, is also uh, close to downward, uh, down, uh, lower, the uh, down trend line of a downward channel uh, low tr lower trend line oh, we are close to the trend line uh, I'm waiting to stochastic uh, all pull back all the way to oversold position uh, and go long in Mickey D's uh, Coca-Cola same thing same thing uh, I have plenty of these smaller trend lines, but we had this beautiful coiled stochastic. I took the Coca-Cola right here. Um, I called it uh, this move up. Uh, now we have full rotation and stochastic is almost oversold. So I'm waiting uh, to full pullback and get back to to uh, the trend line. As you see here, I have also this trend line. This is from uh, five-year chart I believe let's see yeah this is five-year chart so coca-cola uh, waiting uh, it's not uh, ready um, I'm waiting for for full uh, pullback of stochastics and uh, 3m company with 3m we have this downward channel here and also uh, the stochastic are in a downward channel which is usually very bullish so we already got the move uh, and bounce from down uh, from the lower trend line and let's end with uh, Budweiser, Budweiser we had huge pullback uh, the stock got crashed as you see here it was like a rising wedge we broke out of it and now we are oversold and uh, yeah it's hard to say uh, where this thing gonna uh, uh, bounce back but uh, uh, this is a huge pullback so they're gonna be definitely opportunity in Budweiser so the that one is on my watch list. Uh, all the position, all, all the setups are on the trading view. Uh, on trade trading view, uh, you will get the link uh, below this video, so you can check all the setups uh, on the trading view uh, web page. All right, good luck, guys.